Good morning dudes, how is it going? Today we're playing Sniper, we're going into the top lane, this was Random Draft. I picked Sniper because I thought, you know, let's give that guy a shot again. And I think that Sniper's very good right now, uh, they really nerfed him hard with 6.84, but, you know, he's okay. I mean, I don't think he's super awful, like, he's okay. <laughs> it's okay, so, that's kind of... Kind of what are we going to do here. Alright, we're going to be playing a bit of Sniper. Yes. Going to be spinning our gun a little. And uh, that's the plan, I think. Seems like a good one, doesn't it? Uh, you seem dead. That seems pretty dead. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe he's fine. Ah, okay. Yeah, Nux is kind of difficult to kill at times. So, yeah. Anyway. Yeah, I think Sniper does okay. Uh, the thing is, he can't really mid anymore, right? Like, they took that away from him. Uh, they also... They just, that mostly comes down to Shrapnel now having a stupid long cooldown, right? Like, um, I actually think that's... It's ridiculous. Like, it's too long. It shouldn't be this long. They didn't need to nerf it that hard. It used to be the case that you could cast Shrapnel all the time and it was never a problem. It's just too strong, right? Yeah, that needs to be nerfed, definitely. But now it has, like, if you use all three charges of Schnapner, like, it almost has a three minute cooldown. Which is stupid. Right? Like, that's ridiculous. There's no way that just a basic ability should have a three minute cooldown unless it's, like, insanely powerful. Which it's not. And, um, it's good, don't get me wrong, it's scary. But you nerf the ability and then you also made it a three minute cooldown, which is a bit silly, right? Like, we didn't need to go that far. And honestly, I don't like that they did that, because it's just like, this is obvious, right? Like, you knew what you were doing, you you understood that that is too, too much, right? You knew that. Why did you do it anyway? I don't understand that. But I guess that's how it is, right? And it's not the worst thing in the world, like, again, I think Sniper is actually okay, right? I would put him into a side lane, I would put him into like a farming, like it's just straight up protected side lane. Though he has the advantage of, you know, you can kind of leave him alone for a little bit every once in a while. Which is nice. That's definitely uh, something that he's got going for himself. But overall... Hmm... He does okay, right? Like, the thing is the Q is still very, very powerful. It's just that you don't get to use it as often. And frankly, you get it. You don't like get to use it often enough. But, but as long as you can uh, create a situation where you don't have to use it often, and every time you need to use it, you have it ready, then you have a then you have a lane where the sniper is actually really gonna be scary, right? And that's why I like having him in a side lane like this. Um, I don't think going mid with him is a great option. I've played against a few snipers in the mid. I have played. Sniper a few times in the mid myself, and every single time it just seems so weak, right? It just seems like you're out of options really, really quickly, and it doesn't really work. At least I have not found it to work. So uh, I like I like the whole side lane thing a lot more. I think it's a lot more consistent, really. And honestly, like that's super important, being consistent. So you know. You can kind of just sit here and farm up, right? Like, you don't need to be mid. You can't just have a mid hero and have Sniper as a late game carry. And as a late game carry, still good. Like, that wasn't really nerfed, right? Yeah, okay, headshot can miss now. Not the biggest of deals, right? Like, I mean, if the enemy went for evasion, you bought an MKB anyway. That wasn't really different for Sniper, right? Like, it was just a slight bonus that it couldn't miss. It wasn't really something that I personally considered to be... Like a defining trait of the hero. It's just like, oh, okay, you know, like that's neat, that's that's cool, right? That's definitely strong, don't get me wrong. It's just, it's not why I would pick Sniper, right? <laughs> it's just not. I think the biggest nerf to Sniper, honestly, well, actually, no, the biggest nerf to Sniper is just Shrapnel cooldown, right? But the second biggest thing, and the thing that really, like, I feel like he could have dealt with just a Shrapnel cooldown, I think he would still be really, really solid if if they had not nerfed his item build that much, because 6.83 gave him and a lot of heroes a very powerful item build with the Mask of Madness, Saint and Yasha's Gadi. And he doesn't have that anymore, right? Like, because he got nerfed really, really hard. 
and as a result, he struggles a bit to, to find something that you can really like invest your money into. I found um, Seijin Yasha and then split it up into like Manta style and what's the other one called? Silver Edge. I found that to be pretty cool. Um, but, you know, overall, it's just, you don't have that super nice item build anymore, which is a problem. Also, you don't get to destroy the mid, which, yeah, like, those two things really make him, uh, but, again, he does actually have, like, some, some scary abilities. And let's be honest, like, in a fight, it doesn't really matter, like, the way they nerf trap now. Because, okay, yeah, it's gonna hit a bit slower. That is unfortunate and gonna make it... A little less effective, but let's be honest. Overall, it still needs a lot of damage. Still slows a lot. And you weren't really gonna like get more than three down during a fight anyway. So that didn't really change anything, right? I well, still got that going on. I don't know. I think sniper is okay. I think sniper is okay. But for the time being, we'll just sit up here and farm up. I mean, that's really gonna be a pretty significant part of this. Uh, yeah, it's just kind of how it goes, right? Like, it's honestly a fairly significant part of any match of Dota. Gotta get some money, gotta farm up a bit. So, yeah. I'm fine, you pull. I'll just sit here. Yeah, just pull and stack and all do that kind of stuff. And put down sentry so I can hit the bounty hunter. Okay. He's not on the map, so he's gotta be around here somewhere, right? I don't know, I kind of want to kill him. Oh well. As you can see, I also went for power charts. Again, like, the, really, the, the old sniper build, it's just not a thing anymore. It just doesn't work. Right, like, as much as we all wanted to... Well, no, I don't think anybody wants to get the hoo-ha back. But it's just not really that strong anymore, and... Uh, I just gotta accept that, right? We could try the Lord of the Orb again. I thought that was really funny the last time we did it. <laughs> Eat land. I actually found Desolator to be pretty good. Uh, we could try Desolator this game. I'm not sure how much I like it this game specifically. I think it's pretty good. Pooh, that was oh. the worst pause ever. <laughs> um, well, this is unfortunate. So what is ex actually happening down here? Hmm. They don't look nice. The Nux seems a bit uh, bent out of place. Hmm. Did you know the Nux is some kind of bug? I know that sounds silly, that sounds like I, I you should know that. But I don't pay attention to shit like that. I only right now, like, really realize that Nukes is some kind of bug. Look at that, he's got, like, some runes on here. That's cool. I never saw that either. Huh. And Lion got a really big head. <laughs> and really tiny legs. Why does Lion have tiny legs? Look at that, look at his upper body and then his legs. It's not like they're weak, right? Like, those are pretty strong legs. It's just, why are they so tiny? What the hell? Okay, Sniper is some kind of dwarf, right? Like, yeah, his proportions seem fine. Maybe a bit of a big head as well, but I mean, that's okay. What's up with Disruptor? Disruptor is also pretty small, but like, all heroes that are riding on top of our, like, a mound are really small, actually. Like, Chaos Knight is really, really small. Like, that guy's tiny. Ancient Apparition is some weird ghost. Hmm. Oh, look at that. He's hollow. <laughs> look at that. He's hollow. I didn't know that. Wow. But wait, this doesn't make any sense. Look at this. If I, if I look through it up through him, I can look at the sky, but I can't look at the ground through the top. <laughs> okay. He's semi-transparent. What's up with Ember? That doesn't seem like a good way to wield your weapon. Look at that. He's slashing his fingers. 
It seems like a good way to cut your fingers off. Huh. And Ember Spirit is wearing some kind of one piece. Sounds weird. And his hat is floating. Look at this. I want the floating hat. Where do I get a floating hat? Also, this is actually kind of a cool battle scene right here. Look at this. Like, their friend already died. And now they, this guy is like, no! And he's going in and he's just like, no, don't do it! Don't do it! Okay, wait. We need to All stop. Right. I'm sorry. Spot on. Dust. Got him. So you see, right? Like, this is still a lot of damage. I mean, it's pretty effective. Look at this. Like, it hurts. It really does. It's just... Now I can't do that for, like, two minutes. <laughs> Which is really silly. Shouldn't be that long. Oh, well. Okay, uh, we could try Desolator. Again, I think Desolator is actually really, really good on Sniper. Um, but we need some... Stats. We could go Sange and Yasha Desolator. Of course. Well, it seems it's been decided. <laughs> yes. Yeah, like pizza. Pizza needs to be done. Yes. Okay. <sighs> Could also get lies here. Like if I don't go for that, yes. the thing I'm not the hugest fan of of Desolator this game is that guys actually got pretty good armor. But Desolator's really strong. Oh, let's just do it. Desolator hurts a lot. It's really really good. Yeah, let's let's just go. Let's just get that done. Oh, by the way, I forgot something. So, um, uh, I have been talking to, like, a modder. Like, a really good one. Like, I, I, I've seen a few of the mods he made, and uh, he taught, he showed me stuff that he's working on, and it's, like, really, really good. Because I wanted, I want, I really want Pimp My Peon. Right, I think Pimp My Peon is amazing, and I think it's something a lot of people would enjoy. It's really, like, in my opinion, it's straight down the hatch of, like, the Dota community. Like, they would love Pimp My Peon, right? So I kind of talked to him, and I was like, yo, wanna make Pimp My Peon? And then we had a little back and forth, right? And now I have spent, like, quite a few, quite a few hours already just, like, doing all of the research on Pimp My Peon, right? I figured out, like, all of the... The numbers for the units or for the upgrades, everything I can, honestly. And um, we are working on Pimp My Peon. That shit is coming. So in case you don't know what Pimp My Peon is, you'll figure it out soon. And I promise you, you will like it because Pimp My Peon is actually amazing. Like it's just really, really good. Like one of the best modes ever made. It's incredible. Okay. Uh, ba ba. I really don't know. Saint and Yasha Desel BKB. Something like that. Does it seem okay? No, I don't want Saint and Yasha. I want Manta Star to get rid of the track. Go, go, go. That seems fine. I'll get Manta Star. Manta Star first, I don't like that too much. So, how about we just go Yasha BKB? Yasha Desel. Manta star. Or we actually, like, we could do Saint and Yasha, Desolator, and then upgrade into Manta star and Silvage. I mean, BKB is gonna be nice, but the thing about about Sniper, at least in my opinion, he's always the kind of hero where you don't really need a BKB because you can't just, like, have perfect positioning and then you're gonna be fine. Right? So let's just have perfect positioning and then be fine. Seems like a plan. Of course! Thank you, thank you. <laughs> of course! Mm -hmm. I approve of your approval. I very much appreciate it. Yes. But yeah, Pimp My Peon is coming. I'm, oh, look, I'll just take care of that myself. Right? Like, I'll just, look, you know what? I can't just do that myself. Nobody else is gonna do it. I'll just take care of it. <laughs> 
just how it's gonna be. Just simply how it's going to be. Okay. Weaver Weaver seems to be going for a defensive build. I still don't get the obsession with freaking Lincolns on Weaver. Just so stupid. I mean, like, Lincolns is good, don't get me wrong. But people buy it every game without thinking about it and always first, and it's just like, why? Like, what are you blocking exactly? Like, Assassinate and Glimpse. <laughs> like, I mean, come on, is that really worth 5,000 gold? Like, that's not, like, the thing is, Lincolns is not actually cheap, right? Lincoln is not an item that you can just say, oh, well, you know, I'll just get a Lincoln. No, Lincoln is really, Lincolns is really, really expensive. You can almost get a heart for a Lincolns. And we're really talking about, like, a tiny difference there. I don't know. I think heart is better than Lincolns if it comes to raw survivability in a lot of scenarios. So, I, I'm just saying. Of course, Lincoln's has a really nice build-up, that's why it's so popular, but, I mean, I still think that's a bit silly. Okay, uh, I don't think I can heal up here. Oh, wait, I don't need to, because we actually won that encounter. <laughs> Good. <laughs> that's how I like it. Well, in the meantime, I'll just continue sitting up at the top and continue farming up. And continue missing last hits. Yo. Oh, nice. This is stacked. Except that my hero isn't that good at killing stacks anymore. God damn it. <sighs> Gotta be really careful with how many shrapnels I, I use for this. Wait, really? That was the last guy left? Ah, damn it. <sighs> well, that's not great. I mean, I guess it's okay, right? Because it's not like anybody's bothering me. I got tracked now, which is... No, they, why, I, why didn't you cleave the camp, you asshole? What is wrong with you? <laughs> that's weird. Okay. Yeah, track is annoying, of course. But, I mean, it's just one of those things that you gotta deal with, right? You can't really do much about track. Well, this is shitty, because I'm dead. Ooh. Ooh, that hurt. Oh, I was so dead. That's four heroes. Okay. By the way, I'm getting spammed. Because of, uh... Smash. <laughs> yeah. Big tournament coming up. Big tournament coming up. Okay. I'm really looking forward to it. So, the the thing is, like, I told you I want to make a video about it, right? And I want to make a video like the ESL video I made, but if I talk about the ESL video I made, I'm not talking about this year's. Right? Honestly, the video for the ESL I made this year wasn't really my video, if I'm completely honest. That was, like, the video of a buddy of mine. Right, like, while editing, we were doing it together, but I kind of let him make most of the decisions. And, you know, he was the one that did most of the filming and everything. Like, I guided him along a little bit. But overall, it was mostly his video. And, I don't know, I just... Like, he was having a good time, so I just kind of let him do it, and then in the end I uploaded it. All right, don't tell him this. He doesn't watch these videos, but don't tell him that I said that. <laughs> But, um... Pew. Shot through the heart! Shot through the soul! Can we do this? Shit. Yo! Trick shot! Boom! Sniping. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Good job, sniper. We got him. Okay. But yeah, that's why I think like like that video I know wasn't as good as the last year's ESL video, right? Which I thought is which I think is to this day like one of the best videos I've ever made, right? But you know, nonetheless Nonetheless, I um 
I plan on making this one myself again, right? Like this is a video I make and this is a video I record and everything. And I think it's going to be really, really interesting because, you know, it's something I care about and always think like the videos that I really care about are by far my best ones. Right. Like both of the Smash videos I made, like the, the highly edited ones where I did the voiceover and cut like, the clips together and all of that, right? Both of those I really cared about and I think they are fantastic. I'm really happy with them. So, yeah. Right. And uh, I'm actually like looking forward to doing that. I'll be running around with my little camera, I'll, you know. I'll talk to people. I might actually like interview some people. No, I don't know. We'll see. But I think it's gonna be fun. So yeah. For now though, we'll try to not lose to the tiny. That seems like a plan. The yeah, tiny is a problem, but he was scary. Tiny is an issue. I mean I could help. I probably should. No, wait. I should have. <laughs> I should have helped, but it's too late now. <laughs> so I'll not. I'll just not not anymore. But I should have. I definitely should have. No, that's okay. I think it's time to dodge that and then destroy this fool. Come on! Got him. No! No, 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 no! <laughs> Got him. <laughs> well, that was close enough. I'm happy with that. I'm I'm quite happy with that. Anyway, anyway, uh, we are 22 minutes into the video. If you enjoyed it so far, please don't forget to leave a rating on the video. I would definitely appreciate that. And uh, we'll just continue on. I mean, this is looking like a really interesting game. It's pretty even, right? Like, people often have this misconception that the only thing I care about for my videos is that I win the game. Like, I honestly don't give a shit if I win. I really don't. I know that sounds absurd, because like most of the videos I upload, I win. I win in, right? But I actually don't care at all. That is not like a criteria. What is a criteria is that the game is interesting, right? Like I want interesting, exciting games. That is what I actually care about. And um, the thing is that most of the games I lose just aren't that. They just are not interesting at all. Ah, come on. I can still do this. Got him. Oh, wow. Okay. But yeah, like most of the games I lose, they just aren't that, right? Like if you think about how you lose games, it's like most of the time it's pretty one-sided. It's just not that, it's not that fun, right? It's just like most of the time Dota is fun for five people, right? Not for ten, but for five. <laughs> and that's why I don't like to upload these because I don't think they are that interesting to watch. Right, I think that it's something that you guys wouldn't appreciate that much. And um, that's why I tend to stick to, you know, games that I do well in because I think they're just more fun, right? I think they're just something that y'all and me and everybody involved is going to enjoy a lot more. So, yeah. But at the same time, again, I don't care if I win, right? So... If I have a game that is like really interesting, really back and forth, and something that actually seems exciting, then I it doesn't actually matter to me whether or not I win that game. And I think this one is actually one of those, right? Where I just actually I, I don't care. It's just not that interesting to me. Whatever, because this is this is fun. This is actually looking to be really even. They're applying a lot of pressure, which honestly I think they should because I I believe we win late. Um, most likely, I mean this. No real guarantee, but probably. And, you know, we're just going to go from there. We got our Desolator now, so that's pretty good. We also got Headshot Max out. We really hurt a lot. Like, right now, we deal a lot of damage. Like, it's actually quite crazy. Uh, if you just look at this. Yep. 
Like this, this, this is a lot of damage. <laughs> Half of that creeps HP in one hit. Yeah, that's that's pretty good, right? Headshot is physical after all. So every time I get a headshot proc, like that benefits from the desolator, and it's it's just really scary. That's kind of neat. I'm gonna grab these. I think I'll go top again. I mean, like I could go help, but I also don't need to, so I don't. I don't know. If I don't have to, then I won't. <laughs> it's really that simple. I want to get that top tower mostly. Like, we gotta take down some buildings. We haven't actually gotten a single tower yet. And, uh, they They are scared of me. Like, especially after getting that double kill on them. Like, they respect me now. Which is good. They should. <laughs> But yeah, I'll take this tower. Uh, Tiny is mid, we have Jakiro mid, Viva mid. I'm pretty sure Bounty Hunter's around there somewhere too, so we don't really need to worry about him either. And now I think I'll stick to my team mostly. How's Ember doing? Got Battle Fury, got crits, that's pretty solid. Uh, as a, just a quick side note, right? Like, this is fine. I don't know how his game went, right? So maybe he was doing incredibly well and he felt he, he could just afford to rush that big item right there. Nah, that's shitty. But, you know, maybe maybe he thought he could just afford to rush, like, the, uh, um, Battle of Fury, right? I don't like that. I think you should always get some stats on Ember. Because the hero's pretty squishy. And it doesn't even need to be anything, like, hugely expensive. Like, you could just get, like, Wing of Aquila, right? That's fine. Wing of Aquila isn't a big item, right? Wing of Aquila is, like, a thousand gold. That's not a huge investment. Or, or or if you want to go a bit bigger than that, get drums. I like that, too, right? But just... To, or even if you are, like, super, just, no, I don't want to spend any money on anything unnecessary, then get a magic bomb. Or just get something. Just some additional survivability. Because I feel like Ember is, a, like usually right in the kill range for a lot of heroes, right? He just deals, he just has like the exact amount of HP that they can deal damage. And it's just like, ah, that just doesn't work. Like you just need a bit more, right? Like, if you just had like a hundred more HP, you would actually be fine in a lot of these scenarios, but you don't, and so you aren't. And uh, yeah, uh, it's gonna be, gonna be a BKB, I believe. Thank you. Probably dead. Nice TP. Good. Also well played. Okay, Ice Blast. Connected, should be dead. Nah, even though he misses, still dead. Maybe he can get something in the mid. Well, I definitely want to start pushing some towers now. Like, I have... Uh yeah. You see what I'm talking about when I say I deal a lot of damage? <laughs> Yeah, I deal a lot of damage. Like, this is scary. This is a really, really scary item build. Like, the thing I just... Like, the reason why I was a bit hesitant about it is because it makes me squishy and I have a lot of burst. Because um, I am not going to build, like, Lifesteal and Scotty, right? Like, I'll... The thing is, I don't commit to squishiness, like, for the early game. I commit to squishiness for the entire game, which is... Uh, that's not really something I, I want to do, of course. But I guess... I suppose it's fine. Again, I feel like with Sniper you can make up for it with positioning. Because he does have like a thousand attack range. <laughs> it's just like, he is the sniper after all! Let's snipe some people. On target! Thank you. Oh man. Woohoo! Ha ha! Well, uh, for the time being, though, we'll just continue farming up. I mean, we don't really have a reason to stop. And you really shouldn't stop. Oh, that's a problem. Okay, you're dead. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. It's a pretty big commitment. Like, that's something you can do with a team, not with two heroes. 
Well, I suppose that's fine. Can I assassinate here? I think he's gonna run out of range. Oh no, I got him. Pew. Come on. I just want one hit. Aww. Well, I got my damage in though. No free assassinate hordes. Um, they're quite fine with this. I think I'm gonna go back. Yeah, that's a problem, right? Like, I don't have lifesteal. I don't have... I don't really have any sustain here. Like, cook at, I don't know, mecha? <laughs> I just don't have anything that keeps me going. Which is... A shame. I suppose that's fine. Right, because overall we're still doing great. Died a few times, but I guess that's gonna happen, right? Like, I can't really change that. <laughs> uh, farm is okay. Like, it's nothing outstanding. Like, I played that game with Antimage earlier. We had, like, 400 last at this point. Well, uh, no, not 400. Like, 350, though. Of course, you sniper, though, right? Like, you can't have the same amount of last as a sniper as you can have with an Antimage. Because, frankly, Antimage is one of the best, if not the best farmer in the game. There could very well be... You could very well make a case for Antimage being the best farm in the game. Like, once you get him a few items at the very least. But he's up there, right? Ba -ba -ba. Almost got our BKB. Okay, I got BKB. Do we want to go, like, kill shit? Yeah, in a sec I got my tail and 100 gold. I think we're gonna go kill some shit. Pew. Okay. Yeah, no, BKP is nice. I don't think I need to explain that. Maybe first, yeah, Roshan. Yeah, we should probably try to do Roshan. Do we have a smoke? No, wait, they can get one. Okay, uh, just I'll like to there. the supports. Uh, smoke is like the second best item in the game. Because it beats the best item in the game, being wards. Can we do something about this now? I'll just take down this ward then. Yeah. Okay, let's smoke up. I got smoke. Okay. The other fellas aim at the Good. Do we just go into the pit? I think we just go into the pit, right? Oh, no. Oh. Yeah. Did they spot us? Doing the smoke? Oh, fuck it. I need somebody to tank this. <laughs> the sniper, I'm not really known for tanking. I guess snipers and my spirit, but... You know. Ah, they are in the round. No need to be scared. Um... Yeah, that missed. I don't really care about Tani. I care about this right here. Oh, I can't get him. Uh, nothing here. Okay. Seems we're just gonna end it at that. That's okay. No, that's fine, actually. It's not a big deal. Like, you, you would want to get a kill, but... We somehow ended up losing the nukes bounty hunter. I guess that's gonna happen. Yeah, but no, I mean, I'm doing fine. I have my... I have my BKB now, right? And I honestly think, like, Desolator is, like... It's just so good on Snipe. It really is. Like, I know. I know. Early on, I was like, ah, should I? But yeah, no, it's just super good. It does a lot of the scary item. Okay, I don't know if I should stay here. Well, no, I do know that I shouldn't. But I think I'm fine for the time being because I still have my support around. It's a lion. I just hit him really hard and repeatedly. Oh, come on now. Oh, we got him. Goodbye. <laughs> I like that spell. <laughs> That's a fun spell. Oh, he's not gonna go in for me. Okay. Oh, hello! 
What are you doing here? <laughs> I go back. I don't want to waste that. I just... That's actually Aegis, isn't it? It's not an Aegis. It's an Aegis. <sighs> English. Stupid language. Okay. Uh, what am I going for next? I wanted to do, the, to do that whole like Manta style and sewage thing, but honestly, like the track hasn't been a big issue. I got BKB now anyway, so I think I'll actually just go for some damage. Like mostly, mostly attack speed. I think like the, the butterfly is gonna be nice this game, just because like Weaver right clicks things right and Bounty Hunter a little bit, and tiny, even Jakiro just a tiny bit because I'm also spread that liquid fire. And if you if he misses, oh, that's kind of a big deal. So you know, and attack speed is something like right now I I it hurt really really bad. Right, I I hit hard. I just don't attack that often. So but a little bit of attack speed would go a pretty long way. I mean, Butterfly really does everything, though. Like, that is, that is like, the definition of, like, a, a mass of all. <laughs> like, Butterfly just does everything. It's crazy. Okay. Except give you, like, raw HP. It doesn't do that. <sighs> Alright, 3200. God damn it. Like, these new values. You can't expect that of me. I don't remember that shit. How about that? I don't remember any of this. Like in my head, Eagle Song should be 3,300 3, gold. <laughs> None of this new bullshit. 3,200? What is that? <laughs> Stupid values. Back in my day, Butterfly used to cost 6,000 gold. Exactly 6,000 gold. <laughs> Back in my day, we took... Like, we cared more about the numbers looking pretty than about them actually being balanced. So, ah. let's deal with that. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. Well, what's this? What's this? A bounty in the air. What's that? Bounty's head on a spear. Let's go. Seems it's actually gonna be less even than I thought it was. God damn it, these guys put up a good fight at first. I don't know, this was still a fun game. Like, I, like they definitely did put up a fight. But, I don't know. After a little while, it just wasn't enough. They let me farm too much. That's like, always the biggest mistake. Like, if you ever play against me, don't let me farm. That's the thing, like, a lot of the people I play with, like, they have come to rely on me. And that's like not trying to be like, oh, <laughs> I'm just like the best, and so they, like, if I don't carry them. No, that's not the point there, right? It's just that they expect me to do certain things. And if you then shut me down, then all of a the sudden, like, kind of the entire strategy falls apart. Because they have a place uh, that kind of revolves around letting me just do my thing. At least when they play with me, right? So, I don't know. Hey, we got barracks. That's pretty solid. Spotted. Shut up, Sniper. Sniper's another one of those assholes, isn't he? Sniper's like, oh, did you know? I have a gun and I shoot things. <laughs> Shut up, nobody cares. <laughs> oh, man. I'll send that back and get myself my pop up. Here. Oh, come on, there's just a butterfly. Oh, Scotty isn't as cool as Butterfly. Scotty is like an eye. Butterfly is like a butterfly. Dude, come on, that's awesome. Um, is that an illusion or one? Oh yeah, give me that additional money. Okay, okay, okay. okay. So this is gonna be really fun because I. <laughs> Holy shit! Look at that damage. <laughs> Goodbye. Aww. Okay, I guess not. <laughs> Wait, this is about to get much worse because of the butterfly. Holy shit. Aww. Oh, come on, die already. 
I actually lo that guy lived a lot longer than I thought he would. <laughs> <coughs> sorry. <coughs> nah, I'm sorry. I actually really thought that he would die to the first attack. <laughs> oh, man. Yo! I haven't used my BKB yet. We can't... Why, why is everybody back now? I don't know. Is he going for me? Yeah, we out push a tiny, no problem. Yeah, but he's gonna have to come back. Like, if we keep pushing, tiny has to come back. Also, no. I'm sorry, but you're gonna have to try a little harder than that. Goodbye. <laughs> I'll go back and heal up. I mean, I kind of have to. I'm too low. But I got Tiny. I got the Weaver. Got the BKB just in time. That was pretty close. Let me let me admit. That was pretty close. But, you know, I got it. So, that's fine. That's the thing. That, that's one of the big problems with Tiny. I personally think, like, just that the Q takes a second or something to come out. And it's just like, ah. I mean, I had him, and then it just didn't, and, ah. Uh. <laughs> like, that's how it always feels with Tiny, right? It's just like, I, ah, uh, no, I, this, this was mine, and now it isn't, and, uh. Come on, that's Tiny, right? That's Tiny in a nutshell. I know, you wouldn't even fit Tiny into a nutshell. It's pretty big. Why is he called Tiny anyway? It's stupid. Oh, I'm Icefrog, and I know sarcasm. Or irony, or whatever the fuck it is. No, that would be irony, right? Okay. That top tower Wait. <laughs> no, that's not an enemy. Good. <laughs> it's like, let's attack that! Oh, oh that's this route. Oh, that's it. It's okay. I'll attack it anyway. Actually, like, we were... Uh, I I mentioned this earlier, right? But I just played an anti mage game, and, um... A funny thing that I thought... Like, something that I thought was really funny to happen in that game was... Uh, I was really fun. I had, like, 900 GPM. And, um... The enemy Winter Wyvern cast his ultimate on, like, uh, the poor little Rubik that was standing right beside me. And it just didn't work out for him. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, that Rubik, he didn't, he didn't live long after that. <laughs> I like to believe that I missed, like, 50% of my attacks this fight. <laughs> Should have gotten them MKB after all. Of course. Uh, of course. Thank you, Sniper, for your input. I appreciate it. Let's go back and heal up again. You see, like, that's the downside of not having life steal. You just run out of HP so quickly. I really wish I had some sustainability. I mean, I could get, like, a... Like a heart. I don't know. I don't really think that's, like, too important, though. Like, somebody else should get Vladimir's. Like, can't somebody get, like, Vladimir's? Yeah, I need life steal. Okay, on, good. But okay, good. So you will get it when the game is over. I get it. <laughs> good, good, good. Oh, you have it! Oh, nice. Now I no don't need to TP back after every fight. <laughs> No, Vlad's is actually just really good. Like, Vlad's is one of those items where you should probably have one on every team. Like, it's just super good. Who cares? Let's just go. Into the breach. Let's go fight some kaiju with our freaking robot suits. But not show, not not ever let the actual like cool one do anything. Just have that one die instantly. You know, the one that breaks the rules and has like free robots. Yeah, no, we won't have any of that. Screw that. I mean, who really wants to see that one, right? <laughs> or the cool Russians. I mean, who likes those anyway? Like, those are Russians. No. No, those are gonna die instantly as well. <laughs> I really liked the, that movie. I'm talking about Pacific Rim, by the way. Which I kind of incidentally spoiled a little. Oh, come on, that movie's a bit older. Like, that, there, there's like a certain expiration date for spoiler, right? For spoilers, right? You just can't like... 
I could tell you right now everything that happens in Lord of the Rings, and I wouldn't need to feel bad even a tiny bit, because that book is like a century old, right? Like, it's just like there's an expiration date on spoilers. You only get to complain for so long. Pacific Rim was actually like a really fun movie. It's just there were some disappointing moments in it. It's just like, nah, come on, there's this really cool thing, and he barely gave us any of it. What's up with that? Yeah, what's up? Aww. <laughs> Didn't get to fountain though. Well, he kind of like fountain stood a little. Like, sh sh fountain shoot? Fountain shooting? Is that a thing? Fountain shoot. Alright, I forgot my GG. Uh, boom! Got him. Yeah, I was pretty okay. I mean, again, Sniper's not like the greatest farmer in the world, but uh, had a good amount of GPM. I had more denies than like the rest of the game combined. <laughs> I didn't even notice. Was I denying that much? Oh, man. That's actually something I've been trying to work on. I really want to deny more. I think it's pretty important during the laning stage. I think somebody did the math on it once, and actually, like, denying gives you a bigger advantage in the mid lane than last hitting. But, uh, I'm not certain about that. It's just something I read somewhere, but it's just like, ah, is that, like, actually true? Is it, nah? You know. Anyway. So, today's winner would be... Would be not you, you're an asshole. There we go. Voldemort! You win. You win a 113. Which would be 114, 113. Not tradable. God damn it. 81. Um 84? 83? 82? 81. Okay. Can't do that either, right? Like that one's pretty boring. 243. <laughs> we'll get something eventually. Didn't we just do that? No wait, that's the wrong one anyway. This one. Didn't we just do that? Look, if we did that, we'll figure something else out for you, right? But if we didn't, then I'll give you that one. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please don't forget to leave a rating on the video. I would definitely appreciate that. That would be just fantastic. And I hope to see all of you tomorrow. Goodbye, everybody.